Mr. Morandi, great to see you again. Saudi Arabia and Iran engaged in many rounds of negotiations previously in the past few years uh, with the help of Iraq, as you know better than I do. Uh, what difference do you think this Beijing negotiation uh, or negotiations have made? Uh, what were the sticking points previously that got resolved here in Beijing? When the Iranian president was on his state visit to China, the two presidents sat together and uh, discussed uh, how to solve regional issues and to decrease tensions. And this idea was put forward uh, by China, and the Iranians uh, were quite happy to see if they could push this forward. And as you rightly pointed out, uh, the Iranians and the Saudis have been engaging in negotiations at a lower level. Deputy heads of the Supreme National Security Council of Iran and his counterpart in Saudi Arabia, they were talking on numerous occasions, mostly in Iraq. But this time around, uh, the level of the delegations was higher, and uh, they sat together for a number of days until they could settle all of their problems. So the Chinese government played a very uh, positive and constructive role in solving and helping to solve this problem. You were in Beijing a month ago with President Rice's delegation, uh, whereby I had a chance to talk to your president and ask him about the Saudi-Iranian talks. Uh, I want you to listen to this. So what do you make of this answer? Apparently, like you said, this diplomatic breakthrough between Tehran and Riyadh was in the making back then. Yes, the uh, decision between the Iranian and Chinese presidents uh, to push this forward was literally made hours before your interview. And of course, it was discussed before the trip as well. But uh, I think that um, this puts uh, China in a very positive light. In our part of the world, in West Asia, the United States has a history of bullying, wars, dirty wars, sanctions used to impose its will upon the region, constantly using divisions between different countries or creating divisions between different countries. And here we have uh, China, on the other hand, using its good offices to help bring uh, countries uh, closer to each other and to bring about greater stability in the Persian Gulf and the broader West Asia. So it is good news both for West Asia, it's good news for Asian integration, and in general, all such dialogue is good news for peace and stability and the well-being of citizens.